Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Many GE refrigerator repairs will require some disassembly of the appliance. To fully disassemble and reassemble the refrigerator, you will need a Phillips head screwdriver, a small flathead screwdriver, a narrow small flathead screwdriver, a 5 16th inch nut driver, and a quarter inch nut driver. Before you begin the procedure, unplug the appliance's power cord. To uninstall ice and water dispenser components, insert the narrow small flathead screwdriver into the holes on the bottom of the funnel and paddle assembly to help detach the display control. Disconnect the three wire harness connectors to fully release the control. Using the Phillips head screwdriver, unthread the four mounting screws to release the funnel and paddle assembly. You can now unthread the two screws to fully release the dispenser actuator. To reassemble the dispenser components, apply tension to the spring as you insert the actuator lever into the slot in the solenoid and position the actuator in the slots in the dispenser housing. Align the retaining brackets. Then thread the two mounting screws to secure. Feed the wires through the funnel and paddle assembly as you position the assembly in the housing. Secure the assembly with the four screws. Reconnect the three wire harness connectors to the appropriate terminals on the back of the display control. Reposition the control by aligning the top edge first, then snap the bottom edge into place. To access components like the evaporator fan motor, remove the lower freezer basket, as well as the three freezer shelves. Remove the ice bucket as well. Next, use the Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the screw securing the light cover. With the screw unthreaded, squeeze the sides in to fully release the cover. Now use the quarter inch nut driver to unthread the four screws securing the evaporator access panel. With the screws unthreaded, pull the panel out from the bottom and down to remove. Use the small flathead screwdriver to help disconnect the ice maker wire harness. Using the Phillips head screwdriver, 
Unthread the screw, securing the ice maker to the liner. With the screw unthreaded, you can pull the ice maker assembly straight out to remove. Using the 5 16 inch nut driver, unthread the left side mounting screw securing the auger motor. Lift the auger motor up to detach. Use the small flathead screwdriver to help disconnect the wire harness so you can fully remove the motor. Now use the quarter inch nut driver to unthread the front and rear screws, securing the left ice bucket glide to the liner. Do the same to uninstall the right ice bucket glide from the liner. Next, unthread the four screws securing the air duct. Disconnect the LED light wire connector, then release the clip to remove the entire LED light bar assembly. Use the small flathead screwdriver to depress the tab to detach the ice maker and auger motor wire connector from the air duct. You can now pull the air duct out of the freezer compartment. Using the quarter inch nut driver, unthread the two screws securing the fan housing to the rear liner. Detach the wire harness grommet from the fan housing. Pull the housing forward, then detach the temperature sensor from the evaporator coil. and disconnect the wire harness connector to fully remove the fan housing. You can now replace any evaporator fan motor components. To reinstall the fan housing, first reconnect the wire harness connector, then insert the other wire harness connector grommet into the notch in the housing. Position the housing on the rear liner and thread the two screws to secure. Snap the temperature sensor onto the evaporator coil. Reinstall the air duct by first snapping the wire connector into the hole in the duct. Position the duct and re-thread the four screws. Snap the LED light bar assembly into place and reconnect the wire connector. Reposition the right ice bucket glide on the liner and thread the two screws to secure.
Reinstall the left ice bucket glide the same way. Reinstall the auger motor assembly by first reconnecting the wire harness. Align the right side of the support in the right bracket, then hook the left side onto the left bracket. Thread the screw to secure. Reinstall the ice maker assembly by aligning it on the rear liner posts. Be sure to place the spacer between the ice maker and the side liner. Then thread the screw through the spacer and into the liner to secure. Reconnect the wire harness. Make sure the ice maker's on-off switch is in the on position. Realign the evaporator access panel by sliding it up into place. Thread the four screws to secure. Replace the LED light cover by aligning the lower cover tabs first, then snap the side tabs into place. Rethread the screw to fully secure. Replace the shelving and basket. Reinstall the ice bucket. If you need to uninstall the damper control assembly, remove the upper shelf from the refrigerator compartment. Next, detach the LED light cover by pulling it down from the rear. Depress the left side of the water filter housing cover to detach. Pull the lower damper access cover out and down to remove. Use the Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the two lower mounting screws, securing the damper control assembly. Disconnect the LED light wire connector. Next, unthread the four screws securing the LED light housing. You can now unthread the two upper screws securing the damper assembly. With the screws unthreaded, disconnect the wire connector and you can pull the assembly free. To reinstall or replace the damper control assembly, First, connect the wire connector. Then position the assembly over the vent boot as you align it on the liner. Thread the two upper screws and the two lower screws to secure. Insert the lower damper access cover tabs into the slots in the damper assembly. 
and push the cover up to snap it into place. Realign the LED light housing and secure it with the four screws. Connect the LED light wire connector. Replace the light cover by first inserting the rear tabs into the slots, then snap the upper tabs into place. Realign the filter housing cover and snap it into position. Replace the upper shelf. If you need to uninstall the freezer door, be sure to shut off the home's water supply line valve first. Now open both refrigerator doors, then use the Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the two mounting screws, securing the toe kick plate. With the screws unthreaded, set the plate aside. Unhook the dispenser water supply line from the retainers. Depress the lock ring to release the water line from the coupler. Disconnect the dispenser wire connector. Next, use tape to secure the freezer door. Now pry the upper hinge cover off and use the 5 16 inch nut driver to unthread the two screws securing the hinge. Lift off the hinge. Remove the tape. Then have an assistant help to lift the door off the lower hinge. Reinstall the door by feeding the wire and water supply line through the hole in the lower hinge as you set the door on the hinge. Close the door and secure it with tape. Realign the upper door hinge on the door and cabinet and thread the two screws to secure. Snap the hinge cover into place and remove the tape. Connect the dispenser wire connector. Then insert the water line into the coupler. Secure the water line in the retainers. Realign the toe kick plate on the lower frame and thread the two mounting screws to secure. To reach components behind the refrigerator's lower rear access panel, have an assistant help you to move the refrigerator away from the wall. Use the quarter inch nut driver to unthread the upper center screw securing the waterline retainer and lower rear access panel. Next, unthread the five remaining screws securing the access panel using the 5 16 inch nut driver.
With the screws unthreaded, you can remove the panel to access components like the water inlet valve, condenser fan motor, and drain tube. Replace the access panel by aligning the bottom tabs first. Rethread the screws. Secure the water line behind the retainer and rethread the upper center screw. Move the appliance back against the wall. With the refrigerator fully reassembled, reopen the home's water supply line valve, if applicable. Plug the appliance's power cord back in, and the refrigerator should be ready for use.